Hi there. This video is certainly going to trend right at the top almost as soon as I upload it um, because what we're going to do today is we're going to make a trisodium phosphate solution which is you know what all the kids are doing these days. So I have my little scale here and I'm going to put my little piece of scrap paper for a weighing paper down and we are making today, I'm going to tear it for a moment. We are making today a 10% trisodium phosphate solution. Okay, so that requires one cup of water and 24 grams of trisodium phosphate. Because I have this rather fancy scale for reasons other than making trisodium phosphate solutions for some other stuff we have to do for the farm. Um, so there's one teaspoon, five grams, two teaspoons, 12 grams. Okay, so two teaspoons gives you about 12 grams of trisodium phosphate. That's interesting information. Three teaspoons, 18. 4 teaspoons, 24. Hey, that's really cool information because one thing I wanted to do with this video is make uh, it clear to someone who wanted to make a 10% trisodium phosphate solution but didn't have a scale, you know, about what kind of volume measurements could you use to make the same solution. Let's pause for a moment. And we are going to take our tri 24 grams of trisodium phosphate, place it into our measure, and we are going to add one cup of hot water. This was boiling a while back. Ta da! One cup of hot water, 24 grams of trisodium phosphate, gives us a 10% approximately trisodium phosphate solution. Now what do you do with a 10% trisodium phosphate solution? Well, trisodium phosphate is an extremely effective cleaning agent and it is used um, industrially and uh, commercially to clean things, especially cleaning surfaces for painting. But what we are going to use it for in an upcoming video is cleaning uh, true potato seed of the mucus and germination inhibitors that surround the seed. Trisodium phosphate is really effective for this purpose. And in a previous video uh, last year, I had poo-pooed the use of trisodium phosphate and none other than Bill Whitson um, cult from Cultivariable commented on that video and said, no, trisodium phosphate is a wonderful method of cleaning your true potato seed. And I said, well, I will respect his wisdom and research it myself. And as I was, I was incorrect. It is not a toxic or dangerous chemical, except it is a serious pollutant of water. And one of the reasons I can't buy trisodium phosphate over the counter in the hardware store anymore in my state is because they are trying to reduce commonplace usage of trisodium phosphate as a cleanser because when phosphate, soluble phosphate gets into aquatic systems, it acts as a fertilizer for algae creating algal blooms. So when you are using your trisodium phosphate solution, make sure you don't pour it down the drain. Make sure that you pour your trisodium phosphate solution out in the soil because phosphate solutions will rapidly bind with the soil structure and become insoluble. Phosphate is very, very immobile in soils, which is one of the reasons why it's, limited, it's a limiting nutrient in aquatic systems because it doesn't naturally leach out of soil quickly. So it is the limiting nutrient of uh, plant growth in aquatic systems, whereas in soil systems, terrestrial systems, nitrogen is almost always the limiting nutrient. 
but in aquatic systems, it's phosphorus, okay? So as long as you don't put your trisodium phosphate solution down the drain or pour it out into a river, you are polluting the environment. And especially since I advocate for you to use a small amount of trisodium phosphate solution as you can, and what I've been doing is I've been using the same solution for multiple batches of potato seed, this box of trisodium phosphate, which I bought on the internet, I think I bought it on Amazon for a couple of bucks, it should be enough to last me for years, okay? Because all I use it for is cleaning potato seed. Now, there are lots of ways to clean potato seed, and uh, I will talk about it in the future, but the benefits of trisodium phosphate is it's a very effective cleaner of your potato seed, and it's a very fast cleaner of your potato seed versus doing things like fermenting or just rinsing the seed. This is a really rapid method to get your potato seed clean and uh, ready to dry. So when you have a whole lot of potato seed to clean, which is what I have, this stuff is the bomb. Now if you just have a few potato berries and you need just to you know save the seed from one or two berries, then don't bother buying trisodium phosphate. But if you have a whole bunch of potatoes, berries to clean, you, you should seriously consider getting this stuff. Okay, so basically this stuff still has a little bit of dissolved trisodium phosphate in the bottom. Give it a little bit of a stir. And I find using the hot water works really effectively. Yeah, see now it's basically completely dissolved. And it would have completely dissolved instantly if I had actually gone ahead and stirred it a little. If you only have a little bit of potato seed, I don't think you need to make a 24 gram 10% solution. Consider the fact that uh, 24 grams was about 4 teaspoons of trisodium phosphate. So if you took a 1 teaspoon of trisodium phosphate in a quarter cup of water, that would still give you a 10% solution. And you know what? I'm pretty sure you could get away with a 5% solution, which would be one teaspoon in a half a cup of water, right? So go ahead and experiment with the strength. 10% is a pretty arbitrary number. I've had really good luck with weaker solutions than 10%. Um, but this year I have a whole lot of uh, TPS to process. I have a whole lot of potato seed that I've got to, you know, get dried down quickly. And so I'm making this stronger solution and I'm using it for these big batches of potato seed that I'm doing. And stay tuned for a future video where I'm showing you how to process huge batches of potato seed. Huge batches for someone doing it in their house. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was informational for you guys. Uh, I will catch you very soon with a true potato seed processing video. Okay.